this is Stephanie Pickard and I'm here with Guitar Control to go over the solo for two more bottles of wine. This is a really, really fun solo. It's different than what we're normally doing, so I think it'll be fun. This is a request from you guys, so as always, please keep commenting with your requests and things that you want to learn. As you guys filter in, I'll play a little bit of it and then we'll get started. All right, so it always helps me to kind of sing those first two notes. It goes, two more bottles of wine, and then it goes, and you'll see that I'm in a lot like an E actually. So you'll see that I'm in a lot cleaner sound than normal. This is a very twangy country track. So make sure that you have a cleaner sound than normal. Um, that first one, I just go. Right, so two more bottles of wine. slowly so you guys can kind of see it. So I go two more bottles of wine. track so it's always a little weird to hear a solo that way so I go two more bottles of wine that you guys can all hear me. Um, I didn't mean to sing that note that I played, it was in my head. <laughs> um, so if you can see me, say hi, um, and let's get started. All right, so I'm gonna check on you, Facebook. Say hi if you are there, and if you are the one that suggested this song, thank you for the suggestion, it's very cool. All right, let's see. And um, as always, we'll do about 30 minutes of lesson and then a Q&A. So we're gonna try and get through this entire solo. Um, this is a really cool one. You don't find this, uh, many lessons on this one, so it was really cool to get to do this one. I wanna break it down for you guys and give you lick by lick. So let's go ahead and go back to that first one that I did. Um, so I always sing it. I go, two more bottles of wine. So let's just take it in part. So I do a little pull off. I go two on this uh, fourth string, second fret. That's what I meant by two. So second fret, fourth string, pull off. Two, open, and then I put my pointer on the same fret, but now the fifth string. So I go. And if you're a rock player, that you can kind of relate to that. Then I use my pinky. So you're gonna have a kind of a big stretch, not too crazy, but you're gonna go. Five, five, two. So I go two more bottles of wine. So two, open, two on the fifth string. So fourth string, two, open, pull off. So that means we just pick once and then we pull it off. Then I place my finger. So while it's in the air, you have some time to go to two on the fifth string. So I go pinky, five, five on the fourth string. And then we kind of end that little phrase with the fourth string, second fret. So if you're at home, grab guitars. I am tuned down. Um, hi, Kevin. Hi, James. Uh, hi Leonard, very cool. So YouTube, you guys are good. Awesome. Um, let's see. I just need to see Facebook. Cool, there you guys are. Awesome, Florida. Raymond, two more bottles of wine. Hi Chico, hi Anthony, very cool. So let's break this one down and go a little slower. I know this is different for me too, so hopefully it's something different and new for you guys. And remember, as always, take these licks and make them your own. Don't just try to learn things, no for note, I mean, learn this with me. But obviously, if you're into other style of music or anything, try to use this to be inspired in your own style and bring in different elements. I always think that's really cool when people incorporate things they're not used to. Um. Oh, <laughs> yeah, thanks, Tucker Tucker is saying, that, or Trucker, sorry, Trucker Kev was saying, that would have been a better tone on Lay Down Sally, a more bluesy, bluesy clean tone. I know. I can't help it though. I love my distortion. Um, thank you, Jeff. Awesome. 
Uh, I, I would prefer to play this with distortion, but you know. Uh, Kevin, that's okay if you've never heard of this song before. This is a country classic, so it's very cool. Um, and if you haven't heard mm -hmm. of it, it's from Emmy Lou Harris. So let's take a lick and break down those. Okay, let me turn my volume up just a tiny bit so you guys can hear me. So let's see if you guys can kind of play along with me. If you're not tuned down a half step today, I'm sorry. Uh, you are going to want to tune down when you're playing along. But um, you can go ahead and play it in standard two. So just remember, learn the positions, learn the feel of this song, and learn the licks. So let's go ahead and go back to that first part. So, cool, it looks like you guys can all see me. Awesome. And of course, if you haven't already, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. So we have free videos every day. I'm here every Tuesday and Thursday with live streams. So keep checking back in. It's awesome to see familiar faces and new faces. But check out our YouTube page. So youtube.com slash guitar control. We have new free videos up every day. So at least one or two. So make sure you guys check those out. Awesome. Cool. It's cool to see so many of you from all over the place. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at that first part again. So, two more bottles of wine. So it's kind of cool. It's going to be a little different for you if you're not normally playing country, right? So again, I go pull off, two open on the fourth string. So I usually, if I don't say the string number, obviously I'm referring to the fret number. So two, pull off. And then on the fifth string, I go two, uh, two, two. So pull off, five, five. And then uh, five, and then fourth string, second fret. So I'll show you again. So I go pull off on the fourth string, two to zero. Then on the fifth string, I go two once. And then on the fourth string, I go five, five, two. I always accidentally sing the notes, so bear with me. Five, five, two. Then, that's pretty easy, right? We're gonna do a repetitive lick where we go. So I do that three times. I go two, four, a hammer on. So we just talked about pull-offs, which is where you pull off or pull off. So you, it sounds like you are doing exactly what you're doing. You're pulling off the string and you're going backwards, you're descending. Now, ascending is a hammer on. Um, and that's when you pick once and you slam it down. So I go, and this one's kind of quick. So you're gonna go two, four, then drop your pointer to the second fret, third string. So start, or fourth string, sorry. Start on the fifth string, two, four, drop it to the fourth string. So four times actually, but on the fourth time I go. So I go. Oh, sorry, I made it different. <laughs> but see, make things different. So then I use my pinky five to my second finger. So I just go out here to my second fret of it. Then I grab that low G and then this E. So I go. said he misread the title that's funny um no that would be cool though that would be funny oh yes so if you haven't heard this solo um like the guitar control comment it might not be everybody's cup of tea but this was a direct request so we are listening to you so if you are sending in requests it could wind up in one of these videos so make sure that you're sending them in um this is a direct request but remember you can always learn from anything so like i was saying take these licks and make them your own um, huh? You can play music on Facebook. All right, so let's check this out. All right, um, but yes, it's kind of cool though. I Like I was saying, if you take things from other styles of music, so say you totally don't listen to country, it's not your thing, it's always kind of cool to even just dabble in some of those techniques and those licks and see how it's different and then bring that into your playing because then if you're playing with a bunch of other people that like metal or rock and they don't play country, you're gonna have some different styles and things that they don't have and you're gonna sound really unique. So that's gonna be really cool. 
All right, so back to that repetitive leg. Right? So that one's really cool. That's kind of how we just start off, right? Then we're gonna go, so two more bottles of wine. So I like this lick, I go. So really try and follow along. I slide on the third string, two to four. And I slide to my push down, and it's like someone pushed our hand, right? So from two to four on the third string, I go. I use my second finger. You can use either, because you're gonna have to jump back into place, so it is kind of weird I'm using my second. So go ahead and use your third even. And then we have these two legs back to back that are kind of similar, but in different positions. So um, I slide again, two to four on the third string. Then I use my middle finger to grab the second string third fret twice. So that one, see that's the same movement but different position. So after I slide, I go third string, pull off second fret. So I go, start on the second fret, pull off to the second fret fourth string. So third string, right, like, just like that. So I pull off two, third string, to two on the fourth string, open third string, fourth string. And then I go to the fifth string and I go, and I get to add a little vibrato in this one, so that's cool. So on the fifth string, um, second fret, you're gonna go two, four, drop, two on the uh, fourth string, second fret, back to that little bend on the fourth fret, um, fifth string, back to two. So, pretty cool, right? I like that lick, so I think that's pretty cool. Um, let's check in, how are you guys doing? Um, what? Scotty, I'm not sure I understand your question. This is somebody else's music, but I'm just playing it. I'm not playing along with them. I'm just playing it directly. All right, so let's check out how you guys are doing. Cool. So let me know if you guys are following along and how it's going. Um, awesome. So we have two more bottles of wine. <laughs> I grab the fourth string, second fret, and that's where we get really country. So on the fourth string, oh, remember if you're following along, after the lesson we're going to do Q&A. So if you have questions, make sure you ask them, and I'll check them out. Awesome. Cool. All right. So after that lick, all we do is drop down one string, right? So we're going to grab with the same finger the fourth string, second fret. Then I don't slide, but I do just lightly pick my finger up and move it across. So, but I'm not going. So just two, then I go to the fourth fret. So same string, four, five, six, chromatic. So let's try that really quick. So on the second fret, fourth string, two, then four, five, six. And whenever you do chromatic things like that all in a row, you use your fingers right in a row. So I just go two, move my pointer over, four, five, six. Then I drop down one string, third string, sec uh, third string, fourth fret. And then I go ahead and grab, oh, hi Raymond. Then I go ahead and grab the second string, fifth fret. So go ahead and try that. And then, so this part's gonna get pretty cool. So go ahead and try that. All right, I'm gonna check in on YouTube. Cool, awesome. So who's has their guitar? If you're following along, let me know. We are already halfway through though, so I'm gonna have to speed up this solo. Um, hi, Sean, thank you. I appreciate that. And then, 
we go to our next leg. Sorry, it's hard to hear them in your head if you don't play along with it. So, um, I really like that lick too because we get our bend in. So after we did, we're gonna go ahead and bend on the second string ninth fret and do this cool little slide down. So I bend and then I grab. So bend the second string ninth fret and then uh, second string, sorry, seventh fret and then grab the fifth fret first string then pinky comes out and grabs the eighth fret second strings like this. Pinky, then pointer comes back up to the second string fifth fret, third fret, five, all on the second string. So we bend. The only note that wasn't on the second string was when we grabbed the fifth fret first string. So ready? So we had. So go ahead and try that one. And let me know if any of you are actually playing along. Hi, Mike. Um, cool. Um, yep, it does kind of have some blues in it. And yes, it is very soon to when I'm getting married. I'm getting married not this weekend, next weekend. Awesome. So let's go ahead and check that out. And also, you know, um, if you are learning all these lessons and stuff, make sure that you jam with somebody. I always think that that's really cool. Or use some jam tracks. We even have some on Guitar Control's website. Um, I really like that. Oh, thank you, Mike. That's really nice. There's a lot of pull-offs and open strings and a lot of quick kind of, it's not too difficult, but it is a different style. So make sure that you're paying attention to what's going on because um, it is different. So, I mean, I play fast stuff and metal stuff all the time, but it's just different the way it is. It's not all like aligned, like how metal is like, I don't know, there's patterns and shapes and there are still shapes in these, but we're doing a lot of different little notes here and there and stuff and different phrases. So then after that lick, I'm gonna go ahead and slide up and just go, uh, so I went, then I'm gonna slide on the second string, three to five, then open first string. So I go slide, open first string, second fret first string, third fret second string. So like this, right? So. Awesome. And then we go, um, so that's where it gets kind of weird. Um, I even wrote it out for myself when I figured it out by ear because it's kind of crazy. So the way that, um, this is Albert Lee. So he's going like, he's really, really good um, and different and unique. So that's why it's kind of uh, different than you would think. Oh, thank you, Kip. This is my custom guitar. I love this guitar too. Um, this guitar is real lace. So I don't know if you can even tell through the camera, but it is actually like a real piece of lace. All right, so um, let's go back a, a sec. So. so just the phrasing of that to me was kind of weird when I first heard it. Um, it's just different than a lot of the stuff that I play. So make sure you slow it down and you really get it. So we bend. So like that. So on the second string I go. Pull off, so two, pull off to zero, two on the uh, second fret third string to open, then I go down a half step. So I win. So um, slide, pull off on the second string. So go two, open, then grab two on the third string, open third string, one. So first fret, third string, open second string, third string, first fret again. And then I grab that next note with my middle finger. So. Let me know if you're following along. 
long. I know this one is different. This one is a little hard, so check it out. Um, <laughs> I do love country, but I am much more of a shred person. That's funny. That's what my mom always said, too. Mm. All right, so let's check that out. Uh, and yes, so as it was said in the comments, if this isn't the song for you, this is a direct request. So make sure that you are making your request, too, because they might wind up in a live stream with me or Sean, or they might wind up on our site with... Um, any of us so make sure you check that out all right so let's go ahead and finish this one up um, and let us know what you guys want to learn of course all right so after this <laughs> grab that note with my pinky so fourth string um fourth fret so after so slide sorry wrong string then i go here then i like to think of this as like the crazy train part because it's kind of cool and the solo is actually almost done it's a pretty short solo so um So that's kind of my transition note, right? Then I'm kind of lined up for my crazy train part um, where I have my pointer planted on the first fret, fourth string. Then my pinky grabs the third string, fourth fret, back so it pedals just like crazy train. Um, to the second, to the first fret, fourth string. So I go. Then my uh, second finger grabs the second fret, third string. Then we just do a little like. Then we're just done. So it goes. That's all that I do. So on um, after this, I just go uh, fourth string, bend it. But I do have that pointer planted, so I come off to that note. Then I lift up my ring finger back to the second fret. So. So if you have questions, go ahead and ask me some questions. Um, hi, Brian. This is the first time you're seeing it. Usually it's a different different vibe. Um, usually there's a lot of distortion and it's totally different. But this was cool. So that's kind of cool. So hopefully the same for me as I learned, you know, something to play for you guys that was different than what I normally do. Hopefully this was different for you. Do I know Unchained by Van Halen? I do, but I don't remember it exactly off the top of my head which means I don't want to really play it live if I don't know it. I don't want to figure it out in front of you. Uh, what tuning? I am tuned down half a step. Um, yeah, Kevin, definitely. It's called Two More Bottles of Wine. So this is the Emmy Lou version, Emmy Lou Harris. So make sure you check that out. All right. And so actually, before we go into Q&A for hanging out with me today, I do want to give you guys your discount code. So this is for our Killer Guitar Control Secrets. It goes over three things. It goes over technique. It goes over fretboard knowledge and hand brain connection. And this is for the guitar player that wants to sound like themselves, like that you are the type of person that falls asleep, music in your head, and you can't get it out. And you want to know how does Van Halen become Van Halen? How does Clapton become Clapton? How does Paige become Paige? Like this is for someone that wants to think outside of the box and find their own voice on the guitar. So this isn't for somebody that wants to just sound like anybody else. So check out this DVD. That is your code for hanging out with me today. Um, and like we've talked about, I'll change, I can change my tone on here and show you a couple more. 
examples of what I am talking about for all of these things. So since uh, the solo is done, we only have a few moments, I will change to my normal tone. So let's see. And please feel free to start asking questions. <laughs> saying this is for our killer guitar control secrets make sure you check this out so when I say technique I'm talking about all the things that color our tone so speed picking is a technique and it's a technique where I have technique in the way that I'm holding my arms the way that I'm attacking with my pick and also technique in the way where it's something that colors our phrasing our our sound right so all these different things we choose to pull from like if you're writing your own solo you can choose from, what are you going to do? Are you going to sweep? Are you going to sweep it? Are you going to bend? Sliding. Camera on pull-offs, whatever you want to do. So make sure you check that out. This is our Killer Guitar Control Secrets. That's, again, our technique, our fretboard knowledge, knowing the notes, knowing the scales, knowing the chords. Um, and then our handbrain connection. So the most important part, getting what's in our head out of our hands. So make sure that you check that out. Um, hi Brian. Yeah, it's a little bit of a different style normally, but like I said, it's really cool when you guys give us topics that are totally different. Um, it, it'll push you in any direction. So make sure that you do take these topics and follow every week. And if it's something that's totally different than what you normally do, sometimes that might be the lesson where you learn the most. So make sure you check those out. Um, and embrace your inner country for today. But um, yeah, we had kind of a laid back last couple ones. We had some more like lighter rock, lighter rock things. You guys are softening up your taste and your requests. So make sure you send in your requests. Again, if these are quite or like requests on YouTube, this chat loses. So make sure you put those in when this video goes live and it's just on the page. Um, that would be cool. I can never, I feel like I can never say his last name right. But Joe Bonamassa, um, that would be a really cool lesson. Any chance of Rory Gallagher lesson. The more you guys request these, the more we listen to them. So make sure you request whatever you want to do. If it's a song, a technique, a solo. Oh, thank you, Thomas. Um, make sure that you guys request what you want to learn. So again, if you go to our YouTube channel, there are free videos. So youtube.com slash guitar control. Um, there's free videos covering uh, tons of different things. So technique. Um, songs, solos, riffs, theory, modes. So make sure you check them out. There's also a little playlist too. There's ones of just all the ones that I have done. Um, Sean's done, Robert's done. So check them out. John's done. So make sure you check those out. There's also categories. So if you are a rocker, there's rock, there's classic rock, um, there's blues, there's some metal lessons and by teacher. So whatever you want to do, check that out. We have them all for you guys. Uh, thank you, Scott. So I'm going to hang out for a little bit while you guys, <laughs> thanks James, he said, you guys like to challenge me. Sometimes it, it is kind of crazy. Sometimes it's like, oh, I'm playing country today. <laughs> and sometimes it's like, oh, I'm, you know, sometimes it's something I've done 8 million times and sometimes it's something that I'm learning too. So it's really cool. So, uh, but that's, what's also great is the more you learn, the more you can pull from things that you know and do other lessons. So you know, the faster you pick up on things or, you know, I have actually played some country, so it wasn't that crazy, but it did remind me of all the country licks that I had to learn and all that stuff. So make sure you check that out. If you requested this today, um, I hope you had a great time and learned the song. Um, hi Thomas, you're a beginner. That's awesome. There's tons of lessons on our site ranging from easy to hard, so make sure you check them out. Hi Christopher, thank you. That's awesome. I'm really glad that you like it. Um, very cool. So feel free to ask me some questions. I'll hang out for a few more minutes. And then other than that, I will see you Thursday. And Thursday's topic is a little bit more me. That, so it will be fun uh, for you guys. But I mean, this one is too, not that this isn't, but I think it's funnier that it's just m more something that I do. So less surprising. Um, 
All right, and again, check out our Killer Guitar Control Secrets. So I'm gonna give that to you guys one more time. We appreciate you following us along, checking out these videos every week. Uh, thank you guys so much. You want to learn Aussie songs from the Randy Rhodes era. Um, Justin, I did at least a few. I did Crazy Train and I did two lessons where one was a solo and one was something else, but I wish I did like Bark at the Moon. I think that's a really fun one. Um, I love playing that song. I had to learn like a million songs like that once for this gig. And uh, that was the one that stuck out to me the most. All right, so I'm gonna give you guys that discount code one more time. So thank you for hanging out today. And yeah, I'll hang out for a few more moments. And then other than that, I will see you on Thursday. So check that out. Thomas, the site is guitarcontrol.com. So check that out. And then it's youtube.com slash guitar control. Yeah, and make sure you guys check out these lessons every week. So I'm here every Tuesday and Thursday, and Sean is here on Wednesdays, usually at 7 Central. So make sure you check that out. All right, I'm going to give this to you guys one more time. Um, oh, thank you, James. That's awesome. Uh, how would you take a look like this one? Make it sound like metal or something like that. If I was going to make something sound more metal, I would incorporate more pinch harmonics. <laughs> but that's just me. Of course, Thomas. Um, <laughs> make it metal in the first place, but I would just make more, I don't know. I would do more bends, more the way I would land on it. Like pinch harmonics. That's how I would make something like this more metal. Um, but that's just me. And then I would probably speed pick a lot. But that's also just me. <laughs> so the way I would make things more metal, to say it simply, is I would change my tone. Um, I would make it heavier. You know, she has the two more bottles of wine. The way I would dig into the chords would be harder. Right? And then, you know, when they go... I would just bend more and have more vibrato and more pinch harmonics. That's what I would do. Um, I But I do pinch harmonics, like, every all the time because I love them. I think they're awesome. Um, all right. But that's, I guess, a quick way of how I would make it more metal. But that's a funny question. <laughs> um, and let us know if you guys liked these songs and what you guys are leaning towards. So again, please check out our website. Um, check out our Killer Guitar Control Secrets. So that discount code, I'll throw that in one more time before I leave. Make sure you check this out. This again is for the guitar player that doesn't want to sound like everybody else. And for me especially, guitar was so much more fun when I just found my own voice. Because then it becomes something that's an outlet and your own form of expression and it just becomes such a cool thing. So, you know, you don't want to sound just like anybody else. You definitely want to find your own sound. And this is really cool because this is something that kind of takes us to, you know, different places than most lessons. So most lessons are just telling you how to play exactly like somebody else. But this is more of a concept and how do you find how to be like that person found how to be themselves. Um, where did you learn how to rock so heavy? Um, hey Adam, thank you. Uh, I guess I just kind of got into it on my own. I was really into just guitar in general and then I got more into metal because I liked the challenge of metal. Um, I always thought the guitars were so cool and um, then I just took lessons and learned as much as I could on my own and I played to jam tracks for hours and hours like longer than any human should ever play to jam tracks until I could kind of find my own sound and then I was lucky enough to study with some really awesome teachers um, as I got older so I got to study with Chris Broderick from Megadeth uh, Paul Gilbert a couple times and Bruce Boyer from Acer X and that was really cool I learned a lot I studied the longest with Bruce I want to say and I I learned a lot from him I learned a lot from Chris too though and I learned a lot from Paul Gilbert but I only got to take a couple from Paul um how do you do pinch harmonics? You choke up on your pick really, 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 really far so that your hand is flush, which means it's like even with it. And then it actually makes that sound because it's touching your thumb and the string. So it's not just one or the other, it's 
It's really just hitting both of those, so that's how you get that sound. And it's really kind of a hard thing to discover on your own, um, but I would say just choke up and then go crazy for as long as you can and see how that works out for you. And then that's how I was taught, to be honest. Um, choke up, keep going until you find that sound, and you'll realize that you get different pitch harmonics at different spots. <laughs> on the neck so that's really cool um and just yes choke up experiment and really flush so that's what you're doing but over time you'll start to be able to switch on and off like um for me i was i you know i had to learn how to do that and then now that i do it so much i don't even think about it but i do switch constantly when i'm speed picking <laughs> to mess around with Enter Sandman because I think that's so cool when you add a pinch harmonic. It makes it sound so heavy to me. Um, that's a pretty easy riff to kind of mess around with them on. Um, thank you. Justin, you're studying with Paul Gilbert right now. That's awesome. Uh, I did. I got to study with him because I went to Musicians Institute and I got to study with him twice. Uh, some kid didn't know who he was and asked and I was like a really big fan because I thought that Paul Gilbert was so good at guitar but also a really nice person and in the shred world and stuff sometimes people are not nice and I always thought that that was really cool that he just was fun and nice so I always thought that was cool and I paid someone 20 bucks to take their lessons so I got to <laughs> um yes he is very good that's awesome that you're studying with him is it on his site or something or is it at Musicians Institute. Um, cool. So let's see. And then Bruce is the other guitar player with him. Awesome. Well, thank you guys so much. I appreciate you hanging out today. Thank you, Eric. Um, that's awesome. I appreciate that. So yes, check out those links for Killer Guitar Control Secrets. Check out our YouTube page, youtube.com slash guitar control, and um, check back on Thursday. So I think you guys will enjoy it. I believe it's hybrid picking. So make sure you check that out. Um, I love all kind of speed picking and all that kind of picking. So we'll focus on that. We'll have a great time and keep checking in and keep sending your requests. So thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. And hopefully you enjoyed learning that.